Silent Witness Saturday and Phoenix Police Sergeant Stephen Reham joins us with more on a story about uh, some surveillance video uh, that happened at a robbery at uh, In-N-Out Convenience Mart. So let's check in with him. Good morning, Sergeant. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing great. How are you today? Doing good. So uh, tell us about this. Yeah, so uh, the In-N-Out Convenience Store at 23rd Avenue in Bethany, it was Wednesday, February 2nd, around 9, 9 p.m. if anyone's in the area and remembers this occurring. Uh, the suspects pulled up in a uh, Honda Odyssey there. You'll see it pictured, a silver minivan. And they entered the store. And while they're in the store, two of the suspects uh, distract the clerk, while the third female suspect you see in the video goes back in the back office and removes a large amount of cash and hides it in her on her person before they uh, leave the store. Now, when you're looking at this, I, I, I'm thinking it's one of two things. Either they do this a lot. The, this is a plan that they have when they go to these stores or they have some inside information on this mark here where they knew where the money was. Is that something that's being looked into? Yes, I think I think you're onto something there. This definitely isn't. Uh, I would assume that this isn't the first time that they've done something like this. I think you're right. This is probably something that they had planned out and have done in the past at other stores. And, and when you have an operation like this with multiple people involved, does that kind of up the ante to try to get this solved? Because you know that other marts are going to be uh, targets potentially. Yes, definitely. Uh, definitely. We don't want any more victims uh, to be subject to this crime. And yeah, it does up the ante a, a little bit there. Uh, any, there was no injuries here, right? There was no nothing like that here, right? This was uh, she just goes back and she steals the money and it's during the distraction part that she's able to get out. Correct. You're absolutely right. Yeah, they, they, it's a what we call a commercial burglary. It wasn't a robbery because they didn't threaten force or use any weapons. Um, what, uh, how would you describe, I know we have a very clear shot of this person right here. How would you describe the other people involved? Yeah, uh, we're describing it as a white male and a white female. Uh, they appear to be, uh, 20 to 30 years old, uh, with brown or black hair. Okay, great. And, and again, this happened back on February 2nd. So it was a little while ago. So hopefully you're able to kind of put yourself back there. Um, if you were in this area, if you remember this minivan, I'm trying to, is that a reflection just off of that window? Mm -hmm. or is that a logo on there? I think that maybe it's just a reflection there. I think, yeah, just um, a reflection. Yeah. So if, if anyone, if this jogs any memories, if any, if you recognize the, I mean, boy, those, that is a clear shot of those two people there. If you know them, you absolutely recognize them in this video, especially with um, some identifying shirts like that there. Uh, who should they call? They should call uh, silent witness at Fordo witness or they can go online on our website at silentwitness.org. Perfect. Sergeant, thank you so much. Really appreciate you joining us this morning. Um, some good information. Hopefully we get some good tips out of this. Yeah, I appreciate the time. Have a great day.